made your way over to Evans Bay to Niwa Taihora Nukurangi, the National Institute for Water and Atmospheric Research. And this is Gregor. He's a climate scientist and he monitors the climate. How do you do that, Gregor? Yeah, so we monitor the climate using weather stations, which we have situated right throughout the country from the top of the North Island to the bottom of the South Island. And what these stations do is they monitor things like temperature and rainfall, wind speed. And from that, we get an indication of how climate was historically and also um, how it is now. Um, what we've seen over the past 100 years or so is a temperature increase in New Zealand of around about one degree Celsius. So back in the early 1900s, we had temperatures that were quite considerably cooler than they are now. And then with time, uh, the temperature has slowly increased and it's getting hotter and hotter um, to the point now where many of our years um, in recent times have been the warmest that we have on our observational record. And there's some other ways that you monitor climate change as well, isn't there? Yeah, so we also use other me uh, measures to indicate how our climate is changing. One of the ways we do this is our end of summer snowline flight. So New Zealand is blessed with some beautiful glaciers in the southern Alps of the South Island. Uh, but unfortunately with climate change these have been rapidly disappearing. Um, what we do with our snowline survey is we fly up and down the length of the Southern Alps, uh, taking photographs of the glaciers and over the course of 10, 20, 30 years we get an indication of how these glaciers are changing and basically the changes that we're seeing in the glaciers is in response to climate change. So as our temperatures are warming the glaciers are essentially getting cooked slowly but surely by the warmer temperatures. Okay, that's really interesting, Gregor. So are you able to use this information to think about what might happen in the future with our climate? Yeah, we can. So with our current understanding of climate, that allows us to make projections of what we expect the climate would look like in future as well. To do that, we have really powerful supercomputers. Uh, and in fact, we have one on site here at Greta Point at Niwa. And what these computers do is run really complex, uh, I guess, mathematical equations, which help us to interpret how our climate will look in future. Mm. Well, it sounds really interesting, and um, keep up the good work. And I'll be interested to run into you at the next party because you'd be a great person to talk to. Everyone's so interested about the weather. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Gregor. Yeah, look forward to it. Cheers.